One more thing I wanted to say today. Okay, when it comes to the end times, okay, when it comes to Christians and people who believe in Christ, we have been persecuted and oppressed for thousands of years. Beheadings, killings, the Jews, you know, what, what happened to the Jews in the Holocaust. People who have their faith in the one true God have been offed and hated on for for since forever. They are completely heinous towards Jews. And then Christians were treated the same. Okay, Jesus Christ is our savior. If it comes when it when we when it comes to the end times, this is our time to shine. This is our time to stand up. This is literally quite quite literally our time to shine. We are the light to this world. We are the light to the lost. We are in the end times. This is our time to shine. We are living in the book of Revelations. All of the things that have been said to happen right before Christ comes, yes, they've happened before, but in Revelations, it's talking about all within a short time span. Like, bam, 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 and that's exactly what's happening. Yes, these things have happened before. But if you understand what Revelations is saying, it is talking about all of these things happening at once and right in the same small time period, which is literally what's been happening since COVID. All of these things have been in like rapid succession, one after the other, so close together. We are in the end times. It is our time to shine. Do not ignore the truth. I know Revelations is scary to some people, but I promise you, it's not there to scare you. It's there to show you the truth. That's why Jesus said, do not fear so many times in Revelations, because he knew there would be people scared of that book. But if Jesus says, do not, do not fear, then we have nothing to be scared of except, you know, our fear of the Lord, which is a holy fear, not, oh, I'm terrified, I'm living in anxiety and, and negativity. No, no. The end times is not a negative subject, but when you turn it into something negative, then you're painting it in a bad light and you're painting the word of God and the prophecy of God and his coming in a bad light. It is our time to shine, Maranatha.